Okay. Let's try to do this again this time without dying. Translate. Safe zone. Lies. All lies. I mean, just look at it. That doesn't look very safe. There's a million of those things down there. Alright, here we go. Just ignore me. I'm just an innocent bucket. Uh-huh. Great, where are they going? Oh, that's great, yeah. Yes, run button. That's a good thing to remember. Oh, here we go. I literally just had to keep moving forward. There's a person. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. I'm 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 nice. That's not good. Do you call uh, an alarm on me? But I'm nice. Don't kill me. I'm a nice kitty. Okay. Oh boy, okay. So nice to be made to feel welcome in a new place. <clears throat> it's a cat! Run for your lives! Why are they so afraid of me? Why are you not afraid of me? to have their own language. Okay. You're no Zerk. No. No, I'm not. We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. <laughs> Deal. Okay. So he was the appointed one to meet the threat, whatever it was. All clear. It's just a cat. He promises not to eat anyone. I swear I will not eat anyone. Meow. Oh, interesting. Why are they all robots? So strange. You look lost. What do you need? Uh, here. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now. Except Momo. Momo, eh? You can try to talk to him if you want. But he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Alright, we have a quest. Talk to Momo. Press thingy to ask B12 for help. Help! Don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. Okay. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo up in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. Okay, good. Gotta keep the claws sharp. Hi there. 
You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a Zerk. Ooh, very pretty. Okay. Nice to meet you, Joris. Who are you? Hi, Ronin. You really thought you'd take the elevator? I've never seen that thing work, and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Such a beautiful dream. What a shame. It's just a dream. Oh. Ancient stories speak of natural light that leaked from a star landed at our feet. This light caused warmth and well-being in our ancestors. It helped them to grow. Okay. Our long-gone ancestors, the Soft Ones, left us in this city. Our home is their legacy. Interesting. So there used to be humans here, and uh, we created these robot people and just left them here forever. Oh. I go up there? There's nothing there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? Om. Look at this picture. Om, huh? Please don't interrupt my meditation with strange images. Okay, sorry. Sorry, Johan. Okay. Any actually anything else to translate here? Was there did we do that one? Only our ancestors can distinguish these colors. It is said they once dominated the world. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm? And we got the other things. Okay, well, it, it was good that we went in there. For there was much to learn. More people to meet and talk to. Hi, how's it going? Inspect? Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. Oh. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. Oh. This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drink cans. I can't do less. Well, we don't have any options, any items, so... The marketplace. Okay. This set of electric cable, the best off the mar best of the market. Exchanges for a super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. Okay, well, I don't have anything, so this is a music sheet, a masterful piece of art, a very renowned artist. It cost you one energy drink can. I can't do less. They listen to robot music, I guess. It's kind of bleepy and bloopy. I don't know. Hi there. We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums has its threats and preparation is key. Come across fake pictures like this sometimes, all talking about the outside. Beautiful dream, I guess. Okay. Oh, maybe that's just him bleeping at me. Gotcha. Go talk to these people. Hi there. I left it in the streets. The next day, the Zerks had consumed it completely. Crazy, right? They can eat everything. Another picture of the outside? Get out of here with that stuff. It's all nonsense. Alright. Alright. <laughs> 
<laughs> All the weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare to leave our village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the guardian is the only one who can open this door. That's a pretty picture. Fake, but pretty. Aww. You have a nap. Aww. <laughs> get to nap in real time to have an actual 16 hour cat nap <laughs> they didn't know what that sound was <laughs> they freak out Feels good. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. Huh. Hello? Hi there. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. You want to go outside? Well, good luck. It's not going to happen anytime soon. One chance. Jacob, employee of the month, September XX27. Hmm. <coughs> Hi there. You're new around here. What can I do for you? Oh, this is a nice picture of the outside. Momo is a real fan of that myth. You should show it to him. His flat is all the way up the area. Look for an orange neon sign. Okay. I, that guy's just dead, I guess. You look a little like a Zerk from far away, at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. Oh, is that the outside that Momo keeps talking about? Alright, nice meeting you, Teddy. Carolina Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming. An 
asked that I'm looking for any sheet music to play the guitar to add some ambience. If you find any, bring them back to me. I live here near the elevator, Morisk. Okay. Good. So we know where to get some sheet music. Oh, hi there. You guys better not drop a paint bucket again or else Cosmo will be ticked off. You outside? What about they trying to find it? We're good here. Okay. Catch you later, Zo. Please don't act like a child. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hmm. Where haven't I been yet? I talked to them. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, we haven't been down here yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hi there. Just over there. Outside, why bother trying to find it? We're good here. Okay. Oh, sheet music. Okay, so we need to, uh, there's some to collect. So only one of them is at the, uh, thing. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Had to be as annoying as possible while the guy was sleeping, you know, just... That's how I roll. That's the kind of kitty I am. Little fuzzy jerk. Ooh, pretty lights. You check out all your shit. Knocking over all your expensive computer equipment and stuff. Right near the cable. Good idea. Oh, there's a memory. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. What the humans would have wanted. <clears throat> oh, very nice.
Oh, I see, because we're in the area, I guess. There's, uh, some might be nearby. This gives us some clues of things to look out for. Okay, cool. Yes, can I help you? Some people tried to find an exit in this city. It didn't go well. I'm just gonna keep clawing until I claw right through the damn door, buddy. You might as well open it for me. <laughs> I just literally put grooves in it. That's great. I guess not. Well, thanks for a whole lot of nothing. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> oh, look at that. Very nice. We give ourselves an alternate exit. Now, where was the guy? There was the guy sweeping. There was one near the guy who was sweeping. this guy doing? Hi there. I take care of the plants. The humans improve them so much. Now they require very little light. I just had a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is an amazing technology. The outside? Why bother trying to find it? We're good here. Hmm. We still need... A bunch more sheet musics. Oh, hi there. Well, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Oh, hold on. You're the one I'm supposed to give the sheet music to. Untitled. This tune contains exactly 44 notes. Okay. Can we play it? <laughs> it's so peaceful. Just makes you want to curl up and chill out to that mellow sound. <laughs> oh, what a great nap that was. I'm so relaxed. The music is so relaxing. Thank you. For the relaxing music. All 44 glorious notes of it. Did you stop? Thank you. Thank God. Ah, I can't... It's, it's messed up my controls because I have a paper bag over my head. <laughs> that was great. <clears throat> I guess the series is contaminated because of the proliferation of Xerx. Stay safe. Stay in the safe zone. Oh, I get it. This city is referred to as the safe zone. Take safe's mysterious password. Yes. 
Oh, wow. Well, hold on. Well, could we see the code? Like... Oh, there it is. I don't see any numbers. Any other buttons we can push? Oh, show to B12, yes. Written follows the numbers, but it looks like binary language, a succession of one, zeros and ones. Must be able to decide for this code one way or another. It's probably related to this safe. Okay. Elliot uh, would know the techie guy. We got in, got out from up there or something. Didn't we? glasses and a mustache face oh hey it's you you do look weird and small but there's something about you i feel compelled to pet you but i won't because i don't understand why the surface oh it's a sensitive subject around here there are some whose code can understand the concept there are ones who know about the outside but are too resigned to do anything and then there's the outsiders you can imagine how they feel well, there's only Momo now. It's a very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this. Yeah, it's got to be Elliot, dude. Do we have? Do we don't have a map or anything? I guess, eh? Oh. Excellent. I don't know where I am. Turned the TV on. I'm a clever kitty. Oh, hey, how's it going? There goes of lighter, pleasing to watch. I want to see the real sky one day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's 
side. Momo told me he'd get me there one day. Very old binary code you have. You're only a real geek can read this. Oh, thanks. I'm not thirsty. Okay. Catch you later, Swanito. Another bucket. <laughs> That's right. I meowed and made you drop a bucket. <laughs> oh, oops. how the whole purpose of that was to uh, make them drop the paint bucket. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> In the porch of my shop again. <laughs> okay. But I can go into your store now. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's just a laundromat. It's not as exciting as I was hoping. Was there a purpose to coming in here? Is there a memory or something, maybe? I just feel like that was a lot of effort to get the door open for there to be not be anything in here, right? Oh. Super Spirit Detergent. There we go. That's what we wanted. Okay. That's, I think, to trade with the merchant. Uh, we already met you. Okay, yeah, we're trying to find our way back to the frickin'... <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, a memory. Hey. R.I.P. Humans. <clears throat> oh, boy. Humans are the first residents around here. It seems they're, that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? Oh, I'm getting existential. I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move. Move on. <coughs> okay. Excellent.
I must have missed that before because I'm sure we came through here before. Maybe not. We haven't met him yet. So today is yesterday is tomorrow. Tomorrow will be yesterday today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We're trapped here forever. It's very pretty. It would be so nice if it was real. NASA, looking for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. The remuneration is two pints of Sayuba oil per day. Please contact the Guardian. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. We already got all these. Alright, so where are we going here? Elliot programming is the one at the bottom, so this way. Must be over this way. Oh. Hi there. I don't see ya. Ouch. We just came here. Hold on. Um, uh huh. <laughs> I just really wanted to plow through the uh, thing again. Oh, Grandma Clothing. Oh, hey, how's it going, Grandma? I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do, indeed, it is. You bring me some electric cable, I can make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. I agree, Grandma. It's very pretty. It looks a bit peculiar to be real, though. Ah, Did you enjoy that, Grandma? <laughs> it sounded kind of wrong. Alright. Well, hi. Wop. You want something? I don't know. Look at this pretty picture. Oh, you're one of those outsiders like Momo. Well, good luck with that. Okay. Corey, Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? <laughs> ah, a blue sky. That would be so weird. Elliot Programming. Oh, yes. Knock on the door. We found it. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. I got something to show you, dude. I need a real geek. Want me to read this binary code? Just a second. I need to calibrate my lenses. Here we go. It means duffer bar. Strange. Who gives rendezvous via binary code? Hmm. Duffer bar. Yeah, I know. I think if we go up here, where the bar is, doesn't look very barry. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is the bar here. Here it is. Okay. You want something? Maybe it wouldn't be in the main area. Maybe it would be like a private table upstairs or something. Oh, remember. Remember the bowl of peanuts from here. <laughs> they really consume this? Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be disrespectful of their ways. We found three of seven memories in this area. Sawdust flying. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, could this be the person? Hmm. Sheet music. Yeah. So it's good to go on all the tables. Well, I mean, I'm guessing we can come back and explore this, uh, this town pretty much any time we want. Yeah, I already saw that one. Well, I don't know. There didn't seem to be anything in the bar. And he's really pushing for us to uh, go talk to Momo, so maybe we should just do that. Yeah, okay. So let's just go talk to Momo, and we can putz about in town later. <coughs> That building there. Okay. So, not sure how we get over there. Okay. Oh. Okay. Good jumper. Oh, we were already kind of in the vicinity. Yeah. Just need to figure out how to get up there. Right. <laughs> we're almost up. We're pretty high. Okay, so this is the building here. Um, hmm. Like some kind of pulley system that goes over there. Hmm. A 
bucket. Oh. Go. Momo, I presume. 